lead generation ads are oh, fantastic in this tutorial i'm just going to show you how you can set up the form part of your lead generation ad so we're assuming that you already know how to use ads manager so log into ads manager click create an ad and i'll take you through the process first up make sure you've selected the lead generation objective here and then you set up your ad as normal once you've completed your ad setup, you'll see this new section at the bottom, lead form. Click on new form. Briefly describe what people will receive. This is useful, use the image for your ad. That means they'll split test between the images that you've uploaded, or you can upload your own. For layout, I go with bullet points and I put in the key things. And of course you can keep going until you've got five there. Then you want to change the text for your button here. You see where it says button text. The next section is the questions that you want to ask. So you can see by default, it brings in the email and the full name of the user. And that's the information that it gets from Facebook. If you click see more options, I only need a first name, I don't need a full name. And remember also, just to make sure that I'm getting a, a workable email address, not just the one they use on Facebook, I'm going for work email. You can also add a custom question. So for example, if you wanted to target people within a specific county in Ireland, you could ask which county they reside in. For me, I have an international audience, so I'm happy with the work email. Next, you must link to your privacy policy. This is the text that will be hyperlinked. Paste that in. You can also add a custom disclaimer if you want to add one. So this could be a little bit more information about what they're signing up to. And then the thank you screen. So once people have completed a form, you can prompt them to visit your site. Not a lot of people click this, but it's definitely well worth doing. Rather than sending people directly to the homepage on your website, why not send them to a specific blog post where they can read more? For example, for this particular opt-in, I do have a blog post that accompanies it. You can either save to review it or you can finish to publish it. I'm going to save for now because I want to review this. I also want to change the name of the form. To review this, I can just click back through the areas to see what it's going to look like. And if I want to change anything, I can go back into a section.